Hare Krishna. So the chanting of the holy name of Lord Krishna is a, is a unique aspect of worship of the Supreme Lord. Because all other worship of the Supreme Lord depends on the right conditions. Just like when we are worshipping the deity of the Lord, then we have to uh, perform uh, many rituals to do things properly. Uh, when we are uh, cooking for the Lord, it has to be in a proper way, in a proper place, in a proper kitchen. Uh, that cannot be done when unqualified people are watching and cannot cook for the Lord. But kirtan is, is of a different nature. It is just, it is always coming from the pure transcendental platform. And therefore kirtan can be chanted in any condition, in any place, any time, any circumstance. And so it is the most accessible form of Krishna. Oh. We are reading in the Chaitanya Bhagavat how it said Krishna appeared in this age of Kali, in Navadvip, in every house. So in every house. We know that Lord Chaitanya appeared in Navadvip. And he appeared under the tree, the neem tree, you know, which is in the house of Jagannath Mishra and Sachimata, which is now known as Yoga Pit. So we know that Lord Chaitanya appeared in his age of Kali in one place. But how is it then that in the Chaitanya Bhagavad it says the Lord appeared in every house in Navadvip? Mm. He appeared in the form of the holy name. And that is the point. Uh, this holy name of Krishna can appear in every home. Uh, and Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur is commenting on that also and said, Ye dine grite bhajana deki grite goloka bhaya that whenever the chanting of the holy name will be there in, in anyone's home or in any place, I mean, here we are in the home of the Mauritians, which is the beach. Okay? Everyone in Mauritius is at home on the beach. And uh, here in this home, when we are chanting the holy name, the spiritual world will be manifest. So in this way, the entire place immediately becomes transformed simply by the presence of the holy name. Uh, and so the sound will emanate from our tent, around the tent, and anyone who is touched by it is in the spiritual world, whether they know it or not. They may not have planned it that way, but this is how it's happening. So we are very fortunate to be part of it. In the Bhagavatam we find a description of, of the descent of the Ganga. And it is said when Lord Vamanadev took his two steps and he cracked the shell of the universe, some drops of the causal ocean came into the universe. It said the demigods, they were fully aware of the glories of Ganga. They understood Ganga is coming directly from the causal ocean. It has touched the lotus feet of the Lord. This is fully invested with transcendental power. So the demigods were very, very happy. When the Ganga came down to planet Earth, some devotees knew. Lord Shiva caught the Ganga on his, on his head. And, but many people on the Earth did not know. But still, we see every year many pilgrims are going to Ganga to take their bath here in Mauritius. We have Le Grand Bassin, and there also uh, they have installed Ganga. 
in one great water reservoir. They brought some Ganga Jal, put inside, and now it's Ganga. Yes, and they do Shivratri, everything. Yes, big thing. So, people are still worshipping Ganga. Then the Ganga goes down further in the universe to the lower regions. where Ganga is known as the Bhogavati and nobody knows what Ganga is there so some people get purified by accident they don't know so it's the same with the holy name when the holy name manifests the devotees knowing the power of the holy name they are very 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 happy to receive the holy name just as the demigods are very happy to receive the Ganga. When the demigods received the Ganga and they saw the Ganga coming down, what did they do? They brought some kumbhas, some pots, and they were catching the water and carried it down on their head. Why did they do so? Because they knew this is the mercy of the Lord. If we carry the mercy of the Lord, we get more mercy. We can stand here and take this water and get the mercy, but if we carry the mercy of the Lord on our heads, we get more mercy. So in the same way, the devotees, they know this name, this name is full of, of mercy. So we can just stand here, or sit here, in our case, and just listen and not chant, and then, or we can be like the demigods, and ourselves become like kumbhas, that will be receiving and passing on the mercy. In other words, by chanting, we become active and then we get more mercy. So everyone in the tent will get mercy, even the ones who sleep, although in my kirtan may be hard to sleep. <laughs> but those who sing loud, they will be like the demigods, passing on the mercy to others. So let us all, in this way, uh, partake in the kirtan and spread this mercy of the Holy Name everywhere, in all directions. To all the human beings, to all the fish in the ocean, so we have to sing loud, otherwise the fish will not hear us. Uh, to the birds in the sky, 